Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. I just want to show you guys how to turn any DC motor into a DC generator. It's pretty easy. Um, as you can tell, I got plenty of DC motors. Um, that one's kind of hard to see. I got two micro motors right here. Anyways, you can turn any of these motors into a generator. All you gotta do is do the opposite of what it does. So a motor takes um, energy from a battery or energy source from, uh, uh, from these two posts. And it turns into mechanical energy by turning this shaft. It can be hooked up to gears, pulleys, um, propellers wind turbines, anything like that. Now I got homemade motor or kit that I got from Science Center. Sorry, my uh, camera's blurry. Um, This motor right here ha is a 1.5 volt. It has three strands of 50 loops in each strand connected to this post right here. Let's see if my camera will focus. So this is a post and this is connected to this. There's three of them. And how it does it is electricity, which I got is uh, a battery in here connected to the switch, goes to the motor. Electricity goes through it and creates electromagnetic induction. And what that does is um, creates a magnetic field and it spins this um, armature right here. All of these motors right here are set up just like this. They have more um, wire through them and a wound and more magnets. Now you get the magnets on the outside like here. Or you can also switch up where the wires are on the outside. Magnets are in the inside. Uh, just a little bit different setup. But most of these motors are magnets on the outside. Wires on the inside. The inside is called an armature or a rotor. And the outside is called the magnetic field or the field or the stator. Um, I know there's a whole bunch of different names, so... I name them all so someone don't correct me. Um, so let's show you this real quick. Got that bad Now, to make a generator, you want to simply spin this. But in the real world, um, it's not going to happen like that. Um, first of all, any motor is not really um, made to spin by the shaft. Uh, normally, when you're spinning something by the shaft, you have something, um, vibrations, um, wobble in the shaft. And things that could create a lot of pressure on the bearing. So you want like a ceramic bearing or something similar for a generator. A motor will do it. But it will wear out a lot quicker. Any of these motors. Um, this one probably be alright. Because it's so small. Um, but it can create electricity. Just by spinning it. I'm sure you already knew that before you went on to the video, but um, just want to show you a little demo, and uh, I hope this um, helps you guys out. If you want to see my other videos um, of this thing running, or this um, solar battery charger, I can show it to you. And if you got any questions, just ask. I'll see. I'll see you guys later.